video is going to be about this Hornby operating mail coach which I picked up in London in 2013 at Hamleys. Now this operating mail coach you may have seen in Hornby catalogs from the past from the 1990s to 2000s. You may have seen it there as what they claimed was an operating solution for picking up and dropping off mail to simulate what was done on real railways in Britain back in the 50s and 60s if the Wikipedia page is to be believed. I generally see Wikipedia as a fairly decent resource now so we can I think rely on that and if we look at what Wikipedia is saying this is called a break post office storage van. I'll put a link to the Wikipedia page in the description of this video as well so you can read it. You can actually see the picture on the Wikipedia page is of the very same Royal Mail coach in the same chocolate and cream GWR livery with a few differences. The real coach features nets on the side of it to catch the mailbags and hooks along the underframe to drop them off again. Whereas the Hornby version has got a slight modification which is these two doors here instead of nets you have two doors actuated by levers under the coach that get pushed when the coach goes over a certain piece of track. The pickup door swings open and scoops the mailbag off the hook and the receiving door swings open and throws it out. Now later in this video we will see the unboxing of this coach. We will also see the pick up and drop off in operation and I am going to talk to you through a modification that I had to do to this coach for it to operate correctly on Hornby point work and track. So yes it isn't without its flaws. It's a nice thing to have. So let's have a look at what it's about and at the end of the video I'll give you my verdict. Okay so let's unbox this thing. First off you can see that it was bought from Hamleys in London for £22 which in 2013 was about what it was going at perhaps slightly less on the official listed price. This thing has been unboxed so many times because each time I use it I take it out of the box and then I store it back in the box again. So without further ado let's get to unboxing. You can see on the flap here it says operating mail coach. The Hornby R part number is 4526. The number of the coach is 849 which you will see on the side of it and it's in Great Western Railways chocolate and cream livery. Okay, so you've got a Rigiform box there holding everything. You've got a little piece of nice thick plastic to further protect the open side of it. You've got the leaflet here, operating mail coach. Remove the transit clips, that's been done long time ago. Pick up and receiving bins, where to place these things on the track, how they should be installed and how to load a mail bag into it. Here are the mail bags. You can see them. They are tiny little plastic molded things. And also in this compartment of the box would be the receiving and drop off hooks and equipment. They are not there now because they are installed permanently on my layout. So let's get the coach out without further ado. You've got two little holes to put your fingers through there and push it out so you don't have to pull it out from the front. This is the coach. Night mail, GWR, chocolate and cream livery, number 849 can see these two little arms or levers here so to speak. That's how the mechanism works. When this coach goes over the track at the relevant point, the component that we install into the track will push these up and open the bin. So this bin is for receiving or picking up the mail bag and this bin is for dropping it off at the drop off point. They are very simply operated. There are metal, leave, uh, metal uh, rods and levers inside the coach. It's entirely mechanical. It's not electrical at all. You have metal wheels which is very nice. I don't like rolling stock with plastic wheels because they just feel cheap and the plastic wheels can deform easier. And you can also see I've had to put some weight to this coach. These are car tire balancing weights because in its sta sta standard form this coach was too light. It was jumping on points and I've got a few videos of that that I shot before we doing these weights. So I put 15 grams of weight to this coach. Let's see how much it actually weighs you know. Let's have a look at that. Okay, wait for the scale to start. Right, let's place it on. 126 grams, which means that before I put the weights, this coach was around 111 grams. And I'm probably going to have to put a bit more weight and bring it closer to about 150 grams because it still tends to jump every now and then on point work. Now, that is, of course, also because Hornby's points are not the best around there. And people have commented on it in other reviews and other channels have mentioned it too. I have found that to be the case as well. They are not the best, they are not the worst, they are just adequate. I am not going to rip up my points just yet, so I prefer to weight down my rolling stock. I have got many of my rolling stock with tire, car tire weights like this. I have got some tank wagons that are actually filled with sand. 
So I'll do another video of those. And there you can see another factor about this coach. It's very free rolling. My table is just slightly out of being level and you can see how well the coach just rolls. So there you are, that's the unboxing. The next sections will be about the running of this coach. Let's now have a look at these two short clips that show the coach picking up a mailbag from the hook. Now let's have two clips of how the coach drops the mailbag off at the receiving bin. Here I've taken off the receiving bin so that you can get a better look at how the coach drops the mailbag off when its drop off bin is actuated by the levers on the track. Here we can see the coach derailing as it tends to do sometimes. That's because if you look at the underside, it's all plastic. Now you can see how I've added these car tire balancing weights to the bottom of the coach. Here you can see the coach on its side along with the four mailbags that you get in the set. So what do I think about the Hornby operating mail coach after this video review? Do I like it? Yes and no. I like the fact that it's a reasonably accurate representation of something that happened in real life in the 50s and 60s. I like the fact that it allows you to actually experience picking up and dropping off mail at speed on your layout. And well, I like the fact that Hornby's done something different. I haven't really seen anything like this from any other manufacturer. But what I don't like about it is the fact that it's quite so finicky, you know? I mean, you saw in the video that I had to actually put weights on the bogies and under the frame of the carriage to increase the weight of it a bit because it was derailing on point work. Now that is not some ideal for something that has an operating element like this. This coach is not a work out of the box with no hitches kind of solution. You need to experiment a bit with it. Another case in point is the places to position the pickup and drop off ramps as stated in the operating mail coach instructions sometimes don't really work. You've got to position the ramp slightly ahead or behind the pickup or drop off point so that the speed matches with the actuation of the doors and the bag actually falls into the bin or gets picked up by the hook. If you just go by this, you'll find that it doesn't work for every layout. So there's a bit of experimentation required there and Hornby don't really tell you that in the instructions. They just say, fix this here and it'll work. That's not the case. You have to find out the correct spot for your layout, which includes taking into account your layout's average running speed. Is the coach coming out of a curve as it enters the pickup or drop off area, all those things, you know? So yeah, the Hornby operating mail coach is a very nice thing to have on your layout. But just bear in mind, it's not the kind of thing that you can say, demonstrate to a friend at a moment's notice. You've got to set it on the track. You've got to make sure it's running right. You've got to make sure that, you know, everything is in order before it will work properly. And I've had that. I've tried to demonstrate this to an interested friend who came over once or twice. It works sometimes. It didn't work at other times. So bear that in mind. I hope you like this video. There are more videos on model trains, model cars, tech reviews, retro reviews and so on coming up from me. So please like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel as well. Thanks for watching.